see what we got here. Check, check. One, two. Hi, Twitch. How are you? Hi, Twitch. My name is Bobby. I've been the voice of God for the first half of this, uh, or first portion of this. First large, Bobby's been our, our, our Bobby boy in the booth. Yeah. He's been up there handling uh, the donations and, and making sure everything's running good with the stream. It's a hard job, but somebody's got to do it. You're welcome, Wesley. Thank you for being amazing. So we decided to grab him out of the booth, and we're going to let him play some video games. What are you running? What are you doing? So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I initially thought that I would run uh, Super Mario World, try to beat the game in the time that I had by doing Star Road. Um, it's been quite a while since I played Super Mario World, and uh, I started to do Star Road and found that um, it is much more difficult than I remembered it being. Okay. So what we're going to do is, uh, as soon as Wesley gets done stuffing his face over there, we're going to sit here and uh, just play some Super Mario World chat. Uh, all right. Have a sounds, good time. Sounds we're good just to gonna me. hang out. Is that all right? Is that good with you, Twitch? I, I, you know, I should go grab a laptop so I can have Twitch chat over here so we can talk to them. Yeah. Let me go sure. do that. I'm going to go grab yeah, my yeah. laptop. We'll wait for Tom to get back. So that way we can, uh, we can, we can have a nice little chatty chat with our, uh, our Twitch friends. In the meantime, we just want to thank you guys for your amazing generosity. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for chatting with us uh, and making this a, an amazing experience. This, is ha this has completely uh, blown away all the expectations that we had for it. Um, we're so uh, thankful and happy with uh, how this has gone, and we could not have done it without all of you guys. Uh, so we just want to thank you. Isn't yeah. that right, Tom? Seriously, thank you. Uh, I think our initial like base idea when Wesley, Bobby, and I um, actually were like, well, let's actually let's actually do this thing. Um, I think our initial goal was like a thousand dollars. Yeah. Like originally, and then yeah. You know, we we talked a bunch, and Red Ventures. Um, Besides just being an awesome place to like literally work every single day, I get paid to hang out with Bobby and, and Wesley and all my friends here. And we build really cool stuff in the tech world, but um, one of the biggest things that I love about Red Ventures is we are so community focused. Yeah, um, absolutely. We have Road to Hire, which is a program where we take... Yeah, um, heard Road to Hire out we there. Got, we heard a Road to Hire mentor yeah. out there. Um, we take in people from places that wouldn't really be able to afford college or, or yeah. be able to go to college. And we, we train them in modern tech. We teach them web development. We teach them IT. Yep. And then we get them out in the professional world and we prepare them for that. Yep. Um, and that's entirely run by our employees here. Yeah, absolutely. So all the mentors in the program, they're not outside. They're people that we work with on the daily basis. Yep. Um, that sounds like you, by the way. I believe it's 18 to 25-year-olds. Yeah. Uh, you can Google Road to Hire, uh, find that site. And um, that's also a fantastic way to get your foot in the door here. Yeah, uh, but apart that. from that, we also run. We had Gigi's Playhouse, the stair run, yeah. like two days ago. So, yeah, yesterday, Thursday. Yep. We had um, we raised money for Gigi's Playhouse by doing the stair run, which I didn't do this year. I did it last year, and oh my god, I wanted to die. Yeah. But in about a half an hour, we raised I think close to fourteen thousand dollars. Was it not? Was it not twenty this year? Was it twenty this year? I feel like it was just over twenty. It was. This year. It was up there. Yeah. Either way. We waste a lot, of a lot of money in a half an hour. Um, and that's not something that is uncommon here. We, we spend a lot of our time and a lot of our resources um, not only improving the community around us, but also improving the community here at Red Ventures. Um, I know I've taught. I know Wesley's taught. Have you taught? I have. You have. So Bobby's taught. So we actually have classrooms here, and we teach classes throughout the week. Your employees yeah. actually teach you new skills. Yeah. So if this sounds like a place you want to work, um, definitely go to our website, redventures.com slash careers, I believe is our yep. job page. Go there, check out. We're pretty much always hiring. We're not only here in Charlotte. We are all over the world. We have an office in the UK. We have an office in Brazil. Yeah. And, and uh, I think this is obviously the best, uh, the best uh, illustration for why it's an amazing place to, uh, to work. We're sitting here on a Friday. Uh, hanging out with you guys, uh, trying to raise some money for some sick kids. Uh, by the way, just because we're chatting it up, uh, I do feel obligated to say we were not uh, required to say any of this. We just love working here. Uh, so we just want to spread the love if we can. If it sounds like something that you guys are interested in, please uh, Google Red Ventures, find the careers page, and uh, and see if it's for you. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I stream usually, and uh, 
most of the time I wind up talking about work. Yeah. And it's never, I, I've been here, I've been here at Red Ventures for just under a year and a half now. And uh, I've not had a single bad day. Yeah. I haven't had a day where I've been burnt out so bad and I hate my bosses and life is miserable. No, every single day has been great. Yeah. I get to hang out with my friends. Um, they treat you like an adult here, which is great. Um, so is Wes Wesley, are, are you done eating? He looks like he's about to head over here. We're going to go ahead and start. So All right, that we, we're uh, going to get going. I'm going to sit over here. Time. Wesley's going to sit right here in the middle between us. I'm going to sit over here so I can answer your questions in chat. So if you have any questions about what we're doing, um, what I did, what is going on elsewhere, Wesley needs to find a microphone. Wesley, there's one at the very top next to the audio booth if you want to grab um, that one. But if you have any questions about Red Ventures, yeah. uh, speed running, extra life, anything like that that we can answer, um, we will gladly do that. So just hit us up in the Twitch chat. I'm going to go ahead and start a game here. Get I shoved into dinosaur land. Mm. I still remember the day my dad came home with the Super Nintendo. It's, I realize that we're old, right? It, yeah. But is it not the greatest console ever made? Yeah. We heard it from Wesley himself up there. <laughs> let's, yeah. uh, let's do easy mode. We're going to go Maybe up for this. That uh, one. Yeah, I, I remember the day. Like I had the original Nintendo. That's how old I am. I was a kid when I had the original Nintendo. Um, we had that, and we played that a lot. I played, obviously, Legend of Zelda, but uh, Mario, Duck Hunt, we loved. Uh, I actually had the track and field game. Yeah. Um, which, that was awesome with the power pad and all that. And then uh, I just remember when the Super Nintendo came out, my dad just didn't even say anything. I, he talked to my mom, apparently, and just one day just came home with it and opened the box. You know and what that means, is that it was actually for him. Yeah, no, That's it was 100% exactly for him means. because he spent most of his time playing Donkey Kong Country. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, we uh, we played it. I actually didn't play Link to the Past though until I was an adult. I was uh, actually played Link to the Past after I played Ocarina of Time. Surprisingly enough, I think that was the same for me too. Um, oops, we gotta get this one up here. Dodge this bonsai bill. Um, and I have I have so much love for these old games. Uh, it gives me the warm fuzzies, you know? You, you feel it um, in your jellies? Don't, I do. Don't touch the fuzzies. Don't. You'll get dizzy. That's true. Wrong game, but close enough. It's the sequel. It yeah. counts. Yeah. You set them up and knock them down. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Bobby, I've seen Bob, parts of Bobby's collection. I haven't seen the whole thing yet, but uh, he has a very impressive collection. Opposed to me, which is literally my game collection, is like Breath of the Wild, Mario Maker 2, Katamari Damacy reroll on Switch, and like that's all I have at the moment. So I, I got, go ahead. I got lucky. So we were talking about, uh, you know, that whole coming home to a console surprise thing that, you know, the lucky among us have had. Uh, for me, my dad ended up with a super scope. Oh wow! Oh wow! And I got home from school, and I was just like, you know, little baby me, w WTF? Right. What, what is happening? Uh, oh, nice. Sweet. Nice. That's a frame perfect trick, actually. Uh huh. Frame perfect. <laughs> that's 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 Got the that. newest tech. That's the hot strats. Yeah, yeah. Got that new tech um, coming in hot. But yeah, uh, came home, Super Nintendo, and a and a Super Scope. We know how, we know how much Nintendo supports their weird peripherals. Right. Uh, but yeah, uh, I love me some Super Nintendo. I love this game so much. I love, you know what? You know what else I love? And I saw it as you were flipping through the, uh, the menu. Super Mario RPG. That oh my is God. a great game. I love that game so much. So our own Alex Fernandez also streams on Twitch uh, under Legend AF. Um, him and his buddies just recently did a 24-hour stream of Super Mario RPG. Wow. Where it was either 24 hours or they beat the game. And I think they wound up beating the game like... 17 or 18 hours in. Was, again, it was for charity. Mm -hmm. But yeah, awesome. no, Super Mario RPG is a, a awesome, awesome game. It's very underrated. Um, ha ha. Weak. This is why I'm not doing Star Road, guys. <laughs> See, where we put the call out to uh, employees here to do streaming, it was mostly just a, let's hang out, let's yeah. raise some money for the kids. Exactly. Uh, 
And then I found out that we had all these really crazy talented people yeah. and Bobby. Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and That's yeah, true. and then this kind of ended up. Uh, so, you know, I didn't think today that I would see someone glitch through half the map of Link to the Past, a game I've played a thousand times, right. um, or all of that crazy stuff that this guy just did. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they were waxing nostalgic up here earlier about how great it is to work here. Secret, it is really great to work here. I have had a couple of bad days, but that's life. Yeah. You have more, more good days than bad days. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but yeah, meeting these weirdos. Good times. Um, I do want to read, we did get a donation from Thomas Little. Sweet. Um, he says, hey, Wes, ah. go home. <laughs> you first, Thomas. <laughs> Inside jokes play really well on public streams, just so we know. So I lost Yoshi, but that's all right. We're, uh, we're just having a good time. We're not really concerned, just a little. You know, I'm here, I'm here for some, some sweet music. Do you know, here, here's some trivia. Do you know what the name of this song is? You got me. It's called Blue Sky Athletics. Is it really? Yes. And someone on Twitch is probably going to send in a correction that that's only the Mario Galaxy version. But the Mario Galaxy version of this song is called Blue Sky Athletics, so I'm just assuming that this one is also called the same thing. Okay, okay, right here. That yeah. is the thing that drives me insane about Mario Maker, because when you pick, when you pick Super Mario World, yep. and you hit the last flag, That's exactly what you're gonna say. It doesn't do the exactly. Brown. I know. And I was really hoping that with Mario Maker 2, they would they would add the brown. They didn't, and I'm mad. You know what's it's, um disturbing about Mario? It's a feel bad of Mario Maker 2. What? Anytime someone creates a level where you have to kill Yoshi. Yeah, I know a bunch of people who. I, they are. Who like if you do that, I'm, I'm 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 coming at you right now, Twitch. If, if you, you do that, you're not the most pleasant person. If you do that, don't oh, apply here. Deep cuts. Oh, he cuts you deep. Eh, I'm just you. saying you were probably the kid that reset video games when they were playing together when he was losing. Maybe. It's a very age reference Maybe. kind of thing. Yes. Get mad, flick the reset switch, and stomp out. That's how, that's how you... It's my game, lose. I win. Yeah. You're just flying through this. Well, I mean, I'm not bad at it. I'm just not good at it. You know? Fair enough. So there's people on um, Twitch who like making fun of my accent. What's a Mary O maker? <laughs> I don't know. Tell us, Tom. I so. was I was stuffing my face full of some burger earlier, and man, did I hear some Long Island come out of this. So guy. yeah. So Wesley and I are Whole both from New party. York. He's from uh, from Queens. He's from Queens. Represent. He's, I'm from Long Island. Originally. He's from Long Island. Long, Long Island Islands. with a coffee. Yeah. Um, I, don't have, coffee. I actually don't have that thick of a Long Island accent. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much just Fran Drescher, but, yeah. you know. Yeah. It comes out for me, too, because, you know, I'll order a coffee and people go, coffee. Well, you, you would like a what? A or or the, uh, we're in Charlotte, North Carolina, so the uh, local parlance is, bless your heart, a.k.a., what the hell are you talking about? But, yeah, it's nice down here. Yeah. So one thing you'll find out about Charlotte too, there's not a lot of people actually from Charlotte that live in Charlotte. Oh yeah, that's the joke. We're we're, we're all from New York. I, I find yeah, I find uh, the well, natives hate it. Do you know what? Do you know what they call um, more senior people that move to Charlotte from New York? Uh, my wife just told me the snowbirds, right? No, they actually uh, call them halfbacks. Oh okay, that just sounds okay. Inappropriate. So <laughs> it's, it's not at all because a snowbird is someone who would go from New York to Florida during uh -huh. the winter and then fly back during the warm months. Right. Um, a halfback is someone who's decided that Florida's way too hot, so they move halfway uh, back to Charlotte. Okay, I see so it. So yeah. they like to call them halfbacks, which I, I mean, find that's, funny. That's how my folks ended up down here. My dad um, was ready to retire from New York, and he goes, well, I'm sure as heck not going to Florida, because that's where his dad was. So, Well, these two were waxing poetic about New York. We just beat Iggy's castle. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. Suck it, Iggy. <laughs> okay, okay, here's the weird thing. These are Bowser's kids, right? Mm, that's debatable. Are they his kids? 
or is he just like, does he got a white van out back, or like what's happening here? So, by the official instruction book for okay. uh, <laughs> Bobby was the kid that read the manual. Yeah, I did before. Okay, I did. That's how I got my job here. Read the manuals, kids. Um, by the instruction manual, it does say that all of the Koopa kids are his children. However, that was rescinded by uh, Nintendo later on. And uh, the only current child of Bowser is Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr., yeah. Oh, I knew that was going to I don't know. I like these weirdos. So they really just, like, drop the bomb on the Koopa kids that they're all adopted? <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Uh, we, we're not gonna that. Those we'll questions, some questions aren't we'll, safe for yeah, work streams. Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll answer that after stream. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to say, no one said anything about the Koopas running around their underwear, flying around. This has been a very underwear-focused stream. Yeah. It really has been. A lot of half-naked Link, just saving the world. Oh, but, oh, oh you, you ruined it. Shut it down. Game over, man. GG. We should just pack up and go home. Yeah. I mean, you kind you got it halfway right. Yeah, These guys are not going to let me have any... They're just going to give me a hard time. Well, yeah, I mean, you're, you're playing the game. We're on the couch. That's like that's what couching is. I'm pretty sure that's what we has do. Has this happened the whole time? I feel like it hasn't. I mean, other people were, like, you know, doing something a little Impressive. more challenging. Yeah, that makes sense. So you're we right. didn't really want to bother them. Hi, welcome but... to the hour where we just troll Bobby. Yeah. Look, it's, it's the Friday before Thanksgiving. We're all in a very chill mood at the it's moment. That's fair. <laughs> fair. But we get to be in a chill mood with a bunch of people on the internet, which is kind of weird. From work. Some from work, some from some not. from work, yeah. No, I mean, we're at work. Well, yeah. yeah we're, well, yeah, we're, we're still at work, kind of. If you're still here in the office, by the way, streaming this, either come get a beer or go home. Exactly. Yeah. If you are not in the office... Probably go I, grab a beer anyway. Yes, go get some beer. So what other? What, what, okay, here I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the hardest questions at you, while you're while you're demonstrating your skill. Top five, top five SNES games. Ha oh, ha. Oof. Ha oh, ha. You get five. Oh man. Um. <laughs> all right. Well. So we can we can. Uh, we can also talk about when people ask me about what my favorite video game of all time is, and I don't uh -huh. know that you can really answer that question if you truly love video games. I feel like that's a really tough question to answer, but uh, Super Mario World would be definitely uh, up there for me. Uh -huh. um, it was really formative for me. Um, the I was I was talking to my fiance the other night while I was practicing this. The the overworld. Hi fiance, Hi, fiance. who's in the You're in great. the in the crowd over there. Bethany. Um, the overworld in Super Mario World was, uh, for a young Bobby, an amazing thing, uh, which sounds really silly to uh, gamers of today because open worlds are just normal, and, uh, and it's almost weird if you don't have an open world. Uh, but it felt like such a, a huge, expansive place that I could uh, explore. Dude, when I was little, little baby Wesley, yeah. sat right at the beginning, I was like, wait, I can go left or right? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I, that's the first time I had choice paralysis yeah. in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to. I do want to side note real quick. Uh, yeah. Shadow Six and Typical Thrill both say uh, the knock cannot go anywhere. The knock does not leave. Shout out to the knock. Shout out to the knock. Making sure that our stream continues to run for you out there on Twitch. I don't think they care about the stream. They worry about the network. We're using the network. Ah. Yeah. They control our internets. Yes. So, uh, apart from Super Mario World, let's see what we got here. Um, Super Mario Kart is another one. I know those are very vanilla choices. Uh, really digging, digging deep ain't in, nothing the, wrong in the crate vanilla, here dude. for that one. Ain't nothing wrong with vanilla. <laughs> I am digging deep, I realize. Um, you know, when you're playing a game, uh, it's really hard to think of the entire SNES library. Um, this is called challenging, okay? This is, this, is, this is me challenging you to be better, Bobby. We challenge each other every day here at Reventures. Can't even this get This is his door. challenge. Yeah, so he screwed up. Um, 
what else did I have? Actually, uh, I know what I'm doing wrong because this is a ghost house and it likes to mess with you every chance it gets. Here we go. Check that yeah, out. Yeah, it's like, hey, I go, go, go that way. I wasn't going to say anything just because, actually, I wasn't going to say anything because, you know, six-year-old me didn't figure that one out for yeah. a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I still get a little bit of heart palpitations in this, in uh -huh. this stage. Um, I'll tell you a game that I'm not a huge fan of, and this is... Uh, Oh no! I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, no. ruffle some feathers here. Hold on, this, is, this beer's not empty enough to break and shiv you with, so continue. Star Fox. Okay, I can I see can, that. I can see it. I'm not gonna get too uppity about that. I love that game. Oh, do, 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 Devin. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yes, but uh, I, I love that game. But L Little Wesley was also obsessed with spaceships. Right, right. Yeah. So see, I didn't. I played. Uh, I played Star Fox sixty four. Right. As Star Fox sixty four is a way better game than Star Fox on the SNES. It is. But I respect them. Oh, we got. The don't uh -oh. add in uh -oh. uh -oh. Don't. Uh -oh. don't, don't add you know in. what? You know what? At me. <laughs> Bring it. Uh, and it's. I feel like. I feel like it's mostly because it just hasn't aged very well. Yeah. You know. Um, it was cool I mean, at the time, though. Yes. The the right. the, the Super FX chip was the coolest thing ever. For sure. I didn't know what the heck it was. It's kind of just a glorified math unit, I think. I should, I should go back and look into that. Right. But uh, nah, back in the day, it was the coolest thing ever. But yeah, Star Fox 64, so, really good game. That's one that uh, I'm not a huge fan of. I uh, love F-Zero. F-Zero's a good time. Um, one of my morning alarms is uh, a remake of Big Blue. So okay. I, I woke up to that this morning. I wouldn't say it's one of my uh, top five, uh, though. Let me get to your actual question, because I've been beating around the bush, because it's very hard yeah. to think while you're actually trying to yeah. play Mario World. Um, it makes me happy every time. Can we, every time. Can we pull up a, uh, a list of SNES games for me? I mean, yeah, it's going to be We got computers large. in our pockets. I mean, I would do it, but don't stream and text. Text and stream? Eh, you're fine. If you could use your phone while doing this, then it would really demonstrate the insane skill it takes how about, to normally play Super Mario World. How about I just kind of uh, drop titles and you can give us Sounds good to me. your opinion? Sounds good to me. I'm so, just going to fly um, over this level and uh, pretend like it doesn't exist. Yeah. See? See? Speed running strats. Right, I mean, so you skipped that through... cool moon thing, but, you know. I mean. Ooh. All right. This, one, this one's one of my favorites. Um, Kirby Superstar. Kirby Superstar is fantastic. That might be in the top five. Okay. In, uh, the, in the same realm as Kirby, Kirby's Dream Course. Kirby's Dream Course is great. I don't think top five. Okay. Uh, I do have another one uh, that I, was, I had in my back pocket. I didn't want to say it until I thought of some other things, but uh, Super Metroid. Yep. You that's can't a classic. deny Super Metroid. Also, one of the biggest and most thriving uh, speedrun speed communities out there. That's true. That was that was one of the first games I saw. Well, that, I think that was how I learned what speedrunning was. Yeah. You know, it's kind of got a built-in little percentage and everything. So yep. yeah, yeah, makes sense. It's definitely cool. Low percent uh, Super Metroid is really interesting to watch. Yeah. Uh, getting the least amount of items possible. That's very similar to what Tom did uh, earlier with the Breath of the Wild run. Yeah. Well, I did I did any percent. Just get everything you need. But because you did any percent, you skipped everything you did in the, the game. lowest percent. I did, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, what about, let's see, what else we got over here? There's some games I haven't even heard of before. Oh, Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is great. So here's the thing. Mm. I'm about to ruffle some feathers again. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Wait, hold up. We're going to have to fight. Do not, do not besmirch the glorious name of Chrono Trigger. I'm that not, game is amazing. I'm not going to. Okay. I'm going to tell you that I've only played the first 15 minutes of it. Ooh, dude. Bobby. <laughs> so. <sighs> I'm about to push him off this stage. Gotta, Bobby's getting booed here. I own the cartridge. You need so to play it. My life has been really crazy recently. Okay. And uh -huh. at some point, no, I Trying won't. to get married. Yeah, yeah. Getting a new job. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not doing the important things in life. Playing Chrono Trigger? Yes. You're right. Uh, did you hear that, Bethany? <laughs> Beyonce back there? I have permission. She ain't listening to us. No, she's not. She's probably doing work. She's working. She's doing, yeah. she's doing work things. Bethany, you're, Bobby's fiance actually works on my team. Not my team directly, but our, our, our sister team. 
Um, but Chrono Trigger, I love because it was the first game I ever played with multiple endings. Right. So if you haven't played Chrono Trigger before, there's not just one ending. There are multiple things you can do, and every most choices in the game kind of affect that outcome. Um, I think it was great. It is uh, definitely one of my favorites. Right now on my work computer, I have a tab open probably with the Chrono Trigger soundtrack. That's such a good noise. It's a dumb noise, but it's a good noise. All right, let's keep looking through here. What about the Donkey Kong series? Donkey, Donkey Kong, Country. Kong Country is Donkey Kong Country 2, Dixie's, or Diddy's Kong Diddy's Quest. Diddy's Kong Quest. Diddy's Kong Quest, yeah. Dude. I'm trying to fight more Dude. over here. Dude. Can you not? Come on. Got to focus for a minute. Serious gamer moments. Okay. I, this is, this is my time to rustle some jimmies. I don't like Donkey Kong. I will say, soundtrack pretty good. Sticker Brush Symphony, probably the best track made Dude. on the Super Nintendo. Aquatic ambiance. Yeah. Donkey Kong Country 1 is probably the most bangers True. of all of them. True. Look, I'm not, I'm not gonna disrespect, but it definitely doesn't make my top five. I mean, Mario's just gonna stomp the crap out of this castle. He's Ooh. wrong. That's what he is. Don't at me. All right, let's 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 keep going through the games. We can uh, like there's there's games on here that I didn't even know existed. Let's see. I mean, let's you got to skip some of the Japan only stuff. Yeah, no. All right, let me let me throw down real quick. Ooh. Wesley's top five SNES, Mega Man X, uh, UN Squadron. Okay. okay. Super Mario RPG. Yep. Okay. Oh, no. Final Fantasy 3 slash 6. Mm-hmm. You mean 6. Yeah. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I got I got a slot for one more. A Super Mario RPG. Did I say that one? Yeah, you said that Super Mario RPG, man. Oh, yeah. poo. Uh, okay. My, my, my list is going to be mostly... Chrono, Chrono, Chrono Trigger? Trigger? Yeah. Chrono, Chrono, Chrono Trigger. You were just talking about it, and you didn't Chrono, put it on Chrono your Trigger. list. So in, in the realm of amazing RPG, I can make a top five of just RPGs. But, oh, yeah. You know. Yeah, we can all. I'm pretty sure we can all agree that SNES era had some of the best RPGs ever. It's what it was really known for. Yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of RPGs, Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana. Really good. Yep. I didn't that. So that was one. Uh, I didn't play until much, much later. There are definitely a couple of like you know you had to borrow some carts. You know you'd only get the one. Super Mario RPG was eighty dollars in like 1997. Yeah. So it's that was the one $80. thing I got for like four years. Yeah. Like, you know, 10th birthday rolls around. I'm like, hey, ma. And she's like, nope, Super Mario RPG. Yep. 11th birthday rolls around. She's like, nah, dog. You got to play. Re go replay Super Mario RPG. Which you can do yes. because it's. Bobby. Look. I mean, we're just trying to get through this together, right? <laughs> we're, all, we're all friends here. <laughs> I'm surprised that I haven't actually died yet. He see, said, right? You, you, you just said it. You you're just, just going to die now. Yep. You put that juju out there. See? See? You put that juju out there, and it's going to come to bite you. Because now you're in this tiny like little corridor. Buzzy beetles. With the buzzy right? beetles. I'm up. <sighs> All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Metroid. You almost uh, really. I'm not really even going to really mention that. That was skill. You, no. You mm -hmm. almost really screwed that, that up. That was skill. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm not even going to bring up Legend of Zelda because we all know that's one of the greatest games ever. If you disagree with me, I will fight you. Here's all right. Here's another. Here's another thing. And I know that Street I'm, Fighter Two Turbo. That's a great game. Oh man. Here's another one, and I know this is. Uh, I've I've already gone over the five, uh, and this is slightly cheating, but Super Mario All Stars. Yes, because. That's that's not slightly cheating my butt. That's four games. But but four. it did it did come with lost levels. That's which four has games. The most evil mushroom in it. Yeah. So if you've no, never no, no, played no. that, actually no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna say the most evil mushroom is the weird gangly mushroom from Mario Maker One. Okay. Because that's just gross. No, but, I I, yes. I I think the mushroom from Lost Levels, um, which was just a, it was a Japanese Mario game that never got released in America. Mm -hmm. They released it when they released Super Mario All Stars for Super Nintendo. Um, it's a purple mushroom, 
And it I looks like purple. exactly like the one-up mushroom and the, and the normal red mushroom. But uh, instead of helping you, it literally kills it you, no matter you. how big you are. You just die. So They uh, were really kind of running out of ideas for that one. That was actually, I think Lost Levels is actually technically the true Super Mario 2. It is. Yeah. Because the other one was what? Doki Doki. Doki Doki Panic. Doki Doki, 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 Doki Panic. Doki Panic. So, but that it gave us all like Shy Guys, Birdo, and all that great stuff. So there, there's your random facts of the night. Super Mario 2 actually wasn't originally a Mario game. I had a little, get out had of a little trouble with that water, Bobby. You know Ooh. what? Earthbound. Earthbound, great game. Very good. See, this is just further proof that the Super Nintendo is the greatest console ever made. Four reels. Super Castlevania. Super Castlevania 4, great game. Didn't really get into Castlevanias too much, much later. I, I am not good at them, I will admit that. Um, but they are super fun games. Of course, you got Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct. Oh, dude, you remember Mario Paint? No, I never had Mario Paint. I never had Mario, Mario Paint. Paint was amazing. That was oh that God. rich kid stuff. So if you go, that that's exactly like what it was. My friend, who, my friend who I grew up down, who grew up uh -huh. down the street from me, uh, he had Mario Paint. He had all the Nintendo games. Um, dude, Mario Paint was awesome. You could do some pretty cool stuff. There's actually, if you go on YouTube, people actually make full songs. Oh yeah. Using Mario Paint's composer. <laughs> yeah. Another tab open on my work computer right now is yep. probably some Mario Paint tracks. Yep. What we're trying to say is, if you never owned a Super Nintendo, played a Super Nintendo, find one. Hook it up. Find one, get a Culture Super Nintendo yourself. Classic, get an emulator. Yeah. So here, and, and, and so I know a lot of people don't like emulators, but, and I know a lot of people say like, hey, we have legit ways to give creators money. Always give creators money for right. their work. But I can't play UN Squadron on the SNES Mini. You can't. Now that that I loved me some shmups. And you uh, actually can't play UN Squadron anywhere. Anywhere if you really wanted to because that cartridge is like $400 or something like that. Yep. It's just not it, I would it, say that I have one, but then I'd put a target on my back. Yep. I don't have one. So I'm going to Wesley's house uh, soon. <sighs> nope. This is a serious time, sorry. Yeah, Big Boo. Don't mess with Big Boo. He's so cute. All right, so after Super Nintendo, because we know that it's a great system, what is the next Nintendo console or next console you would put underneath that? So I have an answer for this. Okay. Uh, and it's not the N64. Although I love the N64, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it. But the GameCube, for me... GameCube was solid. Life. GameCube was a very underrated system, in my opinion. Yeah. I stopped playing video games for a while. Oh, no. It finally oh, happened. You oh, died. It finally happened. I mean, we made it pretty far. Four went out for Bobby. Yeah. Uh, I stopped playing video games for a hot minute. I had a Super Nintendo. Why'd you do that? I don't know. I was trying to, like... Be cool? Do sports have and friends? stuff. Hey, I had a lot of... I have a lot of friends now who play games, but... I don't know. It just it just worked out that I missed a lot and didn't come back to the PlayStation 2, mm. which, oh, ooh, let me tell my PlayStation 2 story. So my mom was here earlier. Okay. So you have seen my mother, so you can tie a face to the story. So uh, I had gotten like a, I think my little brother had a PS1, and we had a couple of games for it. I didn't really play a lot. I love Final Fantasies so, so, so much. Um, don't at me, I don't care what you feel about Final Fantasy X, but I was obsessed with that game. I bought every episode, every, every issue of EGM and anything I can get my hands on. Christmas rolls around. Now, I don't have a PS2, and under the tree, a copy of Final Fantasy X, and it's the most bittersweet thing ever, because like I know there's no way in heck my mom could afford a $300 new console, blah, 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 blah. And they would like just come out or eh, soonish or whatever. And I'm like, thanks, mom, because you know, you, you gotta respect mom and mm -hmm. can't really play it, so maybe I'll get one later. And she gives me this look at the corner of her eye and boots a big old box from under a coffee table. And I knew what it was. And you ripped it open, and it was just that beautiful blue PS2 box. Yeah. And that was. That is probably still the greatest Christmas ever. That's my story. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, yeah. Wesley's Mom. Yeah. Cheer for moms. 
All right, so I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, you don't know how to get through this. I don't know how to get through this uh, ghost house right now. Uh, uh, we Okay, then maybe we're calling your slot. Ah, ah, uh, ah, we found it. Yeah, uh, you figured it out. I do want to say hi to my wife. She just got home from work, and she let me know that she's watching. So, hey, babe. Hi. Hey, Elizabeth. Hi, Tom's wife. Hey, Muffin. How you doing? Um, I feel like we haven't had a donation in a while, and I don't know if anybody's watching on Twitch uh, that's willing to donate, but I will uh, make you a deal. You donate to the Twitch uh, button underneath this stream, and I will read your donation live from my Apple Watch while I'm playing Super Mario World. <laughs> we can't so, play while looking at the screen. Uh, this is going to be fun. Up, up, oh, up, no, 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 you're fired. Um, yeah, so if you're on Twitch, if you're still watching, we are still taking donations. We are at $2,780, which is still impressive. Um, but we do have a goal of $5,000. So the more you guys can donate, the better. Let's get the money for the children's raised. Extra Life continues throughout the year. It doesn't really end till the end of the... I love this dragon dude. His little crazy face. Do you know what it's best. called? No. It's called a blarg. <laughs> no, it's not. It is. You made that Actually, up. Actually, you know, that is called a blarg. I do remember learning that fact. That's silly. There's some really silly names for for uh, for things. No, yeah. like the giant jelly uh -huh. monsters in in uh, Legend of Zelda. Those are called choo choos. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Choo choo jelly. Choo jelly. Choo choo jelly. It's, it's, it's a it's an item. That's my requirement for Breath of the Wild too. I want to be able to do bullet time bounces off of choo choos. If I can do that, I'll be a happy man. Before today, I would have looked at you like you were a madman because I wouldn't know what the heck you just said. But now I know. I grew today. So uh, I know we're getting uh, tight on time here. Um, it's up to you guys. Uh, if you want to see me uh, go through this last, if you want to see me fail miserably, that's what I've been <laughs> doing the whole time. If you want to see me get through the third castle, uh, we can do that. If yeah, not, go for it. Yeah, not. finish it out. I always love just slamming Mario's head against the top of things. It makes such it's a, really makes it's a like gratifying his is, thud. It's like it's his his, his head you, is you, like cardboard or something. Just, just we're gonna small Mario this up because it hasn't been hard enough. We're going hard mode. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm doing clearly. So the Tom Lit on uh, Twitch says Pilot Wing Pilot Wings was oddly <gasps> one of my favorite SNES games. It's so good. It is. I don't it's really good. I'm, I'm and gonna, when you screw up, the instructor man is just like, Arr! he's so mad at you. It's so good. I honestly don't think I've ever played that game. Well, I have it on my Switch on, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the Super Nintendo mode. Okay. You should play that game. You also, know, went back and played later, Pilot Wings 64, not that bad. It was kind of cool having like a big 3D world. But yes, I do love Pilot Wings 1. You know what my favorite thing about Pilot Wings is? The, the weird last level. The plot. <laughs> And if you've never played Pilot Wings and you don't know what the plot is, we're not going to spoil it for you. But you should definitely play Pilot Wings. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna have to do that. I'm going to have to get Pilot Wings and stream it. I'm going to play through it. Think for the first like time. if I were to put Pilot Wings in like a bucket, I'd put it in there with like Microsoft Flight Simulator, right? You know, like we're just yeah. we're just here yeah, I on some, this airfield, yeah. and we're gonna we're gonna learn how to use a hang glider. Yeah, my or friends used to jam out on, on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Rocket try and do barrel rolls and seven fifty sevens and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, it's fun. But yeah, I know what he's talking about. It's a good time. All right, Bobby, finish it out. We got two levels. Oh, okay. I don't Pro know what that was. Pro strats. That's what it yep. was. That's, that's that new Mario tech. We're discovering it. Live mm -hmm. uh, on the internet. Here at Red Ventures. For, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're discovering how much you saw. Oh, yeah. no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'll be right back, guys. Tom? What's up, Bobby? What's your favorite console? Um. It's a hard one. I have the most nostalgia with an N64. Mm -hmm. So my N64 story is uh, that was the first console I ever purchased myself. I used to get $2.50 a week for, for allowance. That's, yeah. what I, that's what I got. I saved that allowance until I was able to pay for more than half of an N64. That's incredible. So I saved up for forever, and then 
I was really bummed because there was a bunch of games coming out. Ocarina of Time was just about to come out. Um, and I really wanted to play 1080 snowboarding, which if you haven't played that game on Nintendo 64, it's so fun. 1080 is actually very good. Um, so I saved up for months and months and months until one day my dad's like, you know, we're going to go. We're going to go to Toys R Us real quick. We're not going to do anything. And we wound up going and uh, I paid for half of it. He bought another controller and he also bought uh, 1080 snowboarding, which was my first 64 game. So I have the most nostalgia with, um, with that because I was right at the time where you know, Nintendo Power was a thing. Um, so we, I always got the magazines. I got the previews and the cheat codes and stuff that came in. Right. Um, Ocarina of Time came out, which was one of my all-time favorites. The Majora's Mask came out, which was my all-time favorite for a very long time. I'm going to back you up on Majora's Mask, too. That's yeah, a Majora's very Mask, underrated game. It is underrated because it is so hard. Yeah. It is a super difficult game to play through the first time. Um, which, actually, that's going to be my next focus after I reach my goals in Breath of the Wild. I'm going to start learning how to do um, Majora's Mask any percent runs, but that's a whole different story. But, um, yeah, I mean, well, you had Ocarina of Time, you had Mario Kart 64, which was a blast. The very first Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. Like, that you got it. In, in and of itself was amazing. Um, and then you had other games like Turok Dinosaur Hunter. A lot of people don't remember that game. It was great. People sleep on that one. Um, Jet Force Gemini is probably one of my all-time favorites. Thank yep. you, Wesley. Um, a lot of people don't even know what that game is. Um, essentially, you played as a pair of twins and their dog. It was a third-person shooter. Um, and essentially, you were saving a bunch of teddy bears from a giant army of robotic ants. Um, it had some of the coolest weapons. So, like, you had heat-seeking shurikens for one of the characters, which yeah. I thought was one of the coolest things in the world. You'd go, you'd lock on, you'd throw the shuriken, and you'd kill them. Um, so that was one of my favorite games that uh, a lot of people don't know about. I'm trying to think of else. Uh, Quest 64 is horribly wonderful. Yeah. It is a terrible, terribly built game, but it is, and it has like no storyline, but it's still entertaining to play. Um, other than that, I, I had N64. I didn't play, I didn't have a GameCube, so I, I didn't get to play too much of that. Um, I did play Four Swords. Yeah. On Four that, Swords is uh, I did beat on uh, my friends um, the uh, Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Yep. Which was, if you don't know what that is, that was Ocarina of Time mirrored. So they just flipped the game entirely around. Um, what we're learning is Tom plays a lot of Zelda. Yeah. I mean, I do have a Zelda tattoo. Yeah. Oh, okay. I love Legend of Zelda. It's it's always been my favorite my favorite game series. I am super excited for Breath of the Wild 2. Um, hopefully we get more, we know more about that this year, but uh, rumors are it might actually be the first multiplayer true Zelda game. Not like uh, Four Swords or um, any of those, which are kind of uh, side stories. Um, but we shall see. Uh, but yeah, so oh. yeah, I didn't get a GameCube. I got a Wii eventually. I never had a Wii U. Um, I just had a Wii for a really long time, and I was fine with that because I had all my emulators and stuff on there. And then uh, I just recently got a Switch last year. And, a uh, Switch last year? I got a Switch last uh, last Christmas. That's I got it from late. my parents. Um, so I kind of have a story similar to Wesley where he got Final Fantasy X before he got the PlayStation. Mm -hmm. I actually got Breath of the Wild from one of our friends for my birthday bef right before we moved down here to Red for Red Ventures. And uh, so I actually had a copy of Breath of the Wild sitting in my apartment yeah. from May all the way until December. So um, it, was a bit, it was a bit rough going through that. Breath of the Wild was, um, you know, I've, I found as I've gotten older, it's, it's harder and harder for video games to really like capture me, uh, make me want to just sit down and play games i play for a little bit and then i like get bored of it and i go f do something else um breath of the wild was was one of the last experiences where i was truly engrossed in a game where i felt like i was a kid again you know like i'd come home from work and all i'd want to do is play breath of the wild yeah it, it really is and it, it this is why it took over the number one spot for me is that i played the game i don't know for probably close to a hundred hours and i wasn't even anywhere close to finishing the storyline yeah. I was just running around. Like, there's been times where, like, you know, I, I've said before, I, I've never had a bad day at work. I've had rough days. I've had days where I've come home and I'm, I'm extremely tired because I've been working really hard on yep. stuff. And there's been times where I've literally loaded up Breath of the Wild. I've played it for two hours, and I haven't 
fought a single enemy. I've just been yeah. running around exploring. Yeah. So, yeah. Fantastic game. Fantastic game. Well, there you have the first three castles of Super Mario World, uh, despite Wesley's best efforts. Uh, best. Wesley gave up on us. Yeah. He bailed um, out. Um, so up next, uh, Elijah, are you good? We're gonna have some Pokemon. All right, cool. So we're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna uh, take some time to change over, and we're actually gonna get Elijah up, and he's gonna do his uh, Pokemon Emerald Glitch exhibition, which he showed me a little bit before. It's, it's, it's gonna break some stuff. It's gonna, gonna be break cool. Some stuff. I like breaking games. Yeah. So sit tight, break hang tight, stuff. Twitch. It's been awesome hanging out with you. Other than breaking Bobby. Um, That's all this has been. Bobby's world. Breaking you like spirit. it. But uh, hang tight, Twitch. Thank you again for hanging out. If you can, if you if you can afford it, please drop down, hit the nice big donation button. Um, we would like to get to our goal. It's cool if we don't, but still, you guys have been blowing us away with donations. So, any more donations are greatly appreciated. Um, and yeah, we'll just be hanging out. Actually, we I just refreshed. We got a donation. Thank you very much. I have to find it. Thank you, mystery person. Miss, we're you not going to assume. You are. We're not going to assume genders. We we're just going to say thank you, you person. Uh, Could it be under me? Is Probably it, not. Is it under the Bobby? I think it might be. We get a twenty-dollar donation from Bullet Bill. From Bullet Bill. Saying a better jump higher next time. Wow. Thank you, Bullet Bill, wherever you are. Was it Wesley? No, it wasn't me. So that puts us at a solid $2,800. $2,800. Awesome. That's amazing. That is insane. You guys are amazing. The charity that we're doing this for is amazing. Yep. Uh, this has been a fantastic Friday night. So we're going to keep it going. We're going to take a quick break, get Elijah ready to go, uh, and you're going to see him break open some Pokemon Emerald. So stay with us, guys. All right, we'll be back.